Hello and welcome back to my channel, Fanfic Fantasy. Join us as we delve into the realms of fanfiction and fantasy, bringing you the best stories and discussions. Today, we're kicking off the second part of our series, What If Tanjiro Met Saitama in DS World? If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content in the future. The author of this story is Happy Go Lucky Kitty from Wattpad. All the relevant links are in the description. Feel free to say hello to the author on their profile. Now, let's dive into the fanfic. The stranger snarls with a drool, making a chunking sound. But then her husband shows its red eye, and a sharp jaws as it immediately attacks her hungrily, biting her lower neck. Munch sounds from the bite. Ah, uh, stop. It hurts. She calls for help while crying. Tanjiro rushes to help the civilians as he passed through Muzan and his family. And Tanjiro uses a cloth to block the mouth of the early transformed demon. Stop, stop. Tanjiro grappled the demon while trying to restrain it. The stranger's wife pants heavily and is shock of the incident. She was terrified as she can't stand up from witnessing her husband like that. Tanjiro tried his best to stop the demon. The crowd saw the grueling scenario as they watch while frozen in shock. Musin comforts his daughter and gently drags her wife away from the commotion. But Saitama blocks his way with a detailed face. Hey are you a duh? Saitama stops speaking as he realized that Musin has a family waiting for him. Saitama looks down as he quiver and don't know what to do. He don't want the family to get terrified of the truth. Saitama is also mentally blocked as he tries to think what is best to do. He is not experienced in making best decisions as he thinks Musin is just having a nice family to live free. Saitama is also worried that this man would infect other people. Saitama doesn't also recognize that this man is Musin Kibitsuji. So he let Musin and his family pass through while saying, I'm sorry for disturbing you and your family. He looks down as he clenches his fists, angry and is confused what to do. Musin smirks as he replies, Don't worry about it dot 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 now if you'll excuse us. As Musin passed through, he snicker evilly after succeeding his scheme. As Saitama noticed it, he just stand there frozen while angry, and his senses snaps back when Tanjiro asked for help. Mr. Saitama I need a hand. Oh right. Saitama dashes as he effortlessly stops the demon by covering the mouth and disabling it. The demon squirms as it growls and shouts. Squirming sound. Gra. Ugh. Sound of the demon growling and snarling. As Tanjiro was about to follow Musin, the three members of the security force are heading to Saitama as they shouted. Hey what are you doing with that guy? Leave him alone the security shouted at Saitama and Tanjiro. There were two strange person who were watching Saitama and Tanjiro around. One is a young boy, and the other is a young woman blending in the crowd. Hesitating to follow Musin, he grit his teeth as he shouted, Musin Kibitsuji, I will hunt you down to hell. I'm gonna make sure you'll regret killing humans and I will kill you by myself. Tanjiro shouted angrily. Musin hears Tanjiro's vow while fleeing the scene with his family. Musin gets irritated as he grit his teeth. TCH. Musin flees and goes to escort his family to his car quickly. The three members of security force tried to separate Saitama from the infected stranger, but Saitama didn't flinch. Tanjiro repeatedly tries to convince the securities but the securities warn them. If you continue this impudent act, we will be forced to beat the two of you, says to the one of the security force who is now holding a police baton. Tanjiro helps Saitama as he tried to convince the security force that the infected stranger needs help and is dangerous if letting the infected stranger go. Meanwhile Musin told his family that he needs to finish some business. Honey, take care of our daughter, I need to finish some business, says Musin while hiding his true emotion. Daddy please come back, Musin's daughter says in concern. Musin smiles warmly as he pat her head then says, I will dot 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 now be a good girl and behave to your mommy. Musin waves his goodbye after sending them off. Then Musin went to the dark alley alone. His expression changes as his face shows fear, anger and prideful. In the shadows, there are demons behind his back following him. These demons are just waiting for the Demon King's order patiently. Musin stops in his tracks when he meet two drunkards bumping him and trying to piss him off. Demonic snarl and bite sound, as the ruckus started when an infected demon attacks its partner. The townspeople were staring frozen in shock and getting terrified. Saitama helped Tanjiro restrain the demon by covering its mouth. Saitama recklessly uses his hands to handicap the demon but thanks to his durability, he wasn't hurt of the bite. Thud sound from the securities heading towards Saitama and Tanjiro. Tanjiro was blocking the three members of the security forces as they try to separate Saitama from the infected stranger. 
The securities shouted, Oi, get off from that guy. Tanjiro is struggling to block them, and one of them is now holding a police baton ready to hit Saitama. Saitama glares at them and says, Hey stop that, can't you see this guy is sick? It needs medical attention so no need to use that baton. The three securities looks at each other in confusion, then they look back as they say, Then get away from that guy. As one raises their baton to hit Saitama, Tanjiro blocks it with his body. Seeing Tanjiro blocking the attack, Saitama gets pissed off as he grabbed the baton with his bare hands and crushed it to dust. Crumbling sounds. The securities tried to use a kick to Saitama but Saitama reacts as he slaps them away. One of them sent flying and got knocked out cold. M Mr. Saitama, don't hurt them please. Of course not, I'm just putting them to sleep. Saitama says in awkward tone while holding the squirming demon off. Snarling and growl noise continues. The other securities are heading over to them as Tanjiro says. Mr. Saitama, let's run now. As they try to run away while Saitama carried the infected stranger, they were cornered by the security forces. Give up now. As the securities hold some baton, someone casted a blood demon art. Scratch sound and blood dripping. The young-looking woman named Tameo digs her nails around her arm and cuts it as the blood drips and spills, and then her blood produce a pinkish-red steam of fog with flower patterns on it as she cast it. Blood demon art, scent of illusory blood, visual dream. A hallucination that hinders the vision of the affected by creating beautiful flower patterns around them. The fog flower pattern scatters around Tenjiro and Saitama. W what is this flower patterns? The securities step back and moves away from it. The entire area is covered with Tameo's fog of flower patterns that covers Tanjiro and Saitama. Saitama's eyes blink slowly as he is impressed and was in awe, as he was like, Cool, Saitama says in interested tone. Tanjiro looks left and right as he sniffed the scent, and the scent becomes stronger. If this is a demon attack, this is bad. Tanjiro thinks while observing the surroundings. Then a young boy named Yushiro appears at the fog. Tameo and Yushiro helps the duo escape as they appear and offers help. Follow us, says Tameo in concerned tone. The demon still handicapped by Saitama, the hero was curious of the source of it. Tenjiro was wary and cautious as he asked them. W who are you both? Tenjiro asked in curiosity. Tameo replies in haste. Let's talk somewhere safe, so follow us while there are no people around. But why are you helping us? Tenjiro asked with a doubt. I heard you that you want to defeat Muzan Kibitsuji, we have the same goal to eradicate him. So for this time... Trust us and follow us, Tameo says in a calm and worried tone. Saitama and Tenjiro looks at each other as they nod and follows them in a hurry. Tameo and Yushiro guided them to the place where no one can find them. <laughs> Meanwhile, Muzan walks in the dark alley alone, looking down and angry. He was overthinking about Tenjiro and Saitama while walking in the dark alleyway at night. At his front view, two drunkards are walking towards Muzan. The long-haired cocky guy is Yatsu while he walks back with a woman and his older brother. And then two drunkard siblings walk dizzily and bumped him. Excuse me, my apologies, Musen says as he continue to walk away. But, hey wait. Yatsu calls him and stops Musen. Musen stops in his tracks and glares at them asking. Yes, he remains his cool while hiding his irritation. The drunkard long-haired guy walks cockily in front of Musen, looking up and down as he say, Why are you bumping me? You got guts. Burp says the cocky Yatsu. Burping continues. The fat drunkard stops his brother Yatsu from making some trouble. Hey stop it Yatsu, let's just go home. He tries to drag his brother but Yatsu is asserting dominance over Musen. Yatsu examines him as he notices Musen is looking down while quivering and is extremely pale. Yatsu then says, Why are you pale, and wow you look rich? Yatsu smirks as he stare at Musen's expensive accessories. Musen was impatient as he says, Excuse me, I got some business to attend. Musen walks away as he try to avoid them. Boy I'm not done yet. Yatsu grabs his shoulder while burping. Musen is getting angry and annoyed as his hands is itching to murder him. Musen says, I already apologized, may I go now? Impatient tone of Musen. Yatsu's older brother and the woman was just watching them. They didn't stop Yatsu from annoying the irritated Musen. Yatsu cockily walk over Musen as it stare a close view to Musen's face. He then tried to piss him off. You look extremely pale like you are about to die. Hearing the word die Musen's vein in his head is popping out. Musen remains silent as one more word coming from Yatsu and he is dead. Yatsu snicker cockily as he walk in circles examining Musen. Then says, Do you mind giving me some money? Musen raises his fist near Yatsu's face. Then Yatsu in irritated face says, Huh? You want some beef? Was interrupted when Musen kills him off with one punch, sending Yatsu crashing in the walls. The woman and his older brother was shocked and terrified. 
The woman screams in fear while her eyes jerk in nervousness. Yatsu's old brother approaches the cold musin angrily as it shouted. How dare you kill my young brother? Prepare to die. He raises his big fist and threatened the cold demon king. Musin stare at Yatsu's old brother as he can remember the face of Saitama because of his bald head. His expression turned dark as he say. Your bald head makes me remember of the guy who is blocking my way. Shut up and die. Yatsu's older brother lunges his fist towards the unflinching Musin. Musin reacts as he strike down the older brother off, killing it with one blow. The woman screams in agony after seeing a gruesome crime. The woman holds the corpse of Yatsu as she can't stand due to fear and shock. Musin approached her and kneel below her height. Musin caress her cheek while his eyes are wide and lifeless, staring deep to her eyes that it sends shiver to her soul. Musin then asked her in a serious cold tone, Do I look like I am about to die? The woman shiver in extreme fear as she didn't respond due to getting terrified and mentally blocked. Her teeth and lips jerking in nervousness as if she saw the death in front of her. Musin's lifeless eyes stare more deeply at her jerking eyes. Musin then put his thumb around her forehead while saying, Do I look pale that I am about to die tomorrow? The terrified woman replies in stuttering tone. And then knew. Oh really? Then do you know what happens if I inject you with my blood? Musin smiles with his lifeless eyes as his nail caress around her forehead. Then his nail around the woman's forehead sink deep in her flesh, bleeding her. Musin injects some small amount of blood on her, and she begin to undergo transformation. The woman whines and screams in pain. A melting sound is heard. The woman screams in pain as her body involuntary dislocated and slowly melt turning herself into a slime. She failed her transformation as she died from transfiguration. She then burns to death afterwards. Musin was kind of disappointed as he was hoping she survives. And then, Musin calls off the two demons hiding in the shadows. The two demons are Temeri and the Arrow Demon. They appear as they kneel down respectfully to the Demon King. Musin glares at them showing his dark expression as he orders them. Kill the bald guy and the young boy with Hanafuda earrings. Do you both understand? Musin spoke in a tone of anger and dominance. As you wish, master. They answer the demon king respectfully. Musin continue to glare them and then he close his eyes and says in commanding tone. Now go, don't come back until you bring their heads. And the two demons went out to fulfill their mission. As Musin is left alone, he stand frozen from recalling the memories of his PTSD. His eyes jerk in nervousness and extreme rage. That pressure before. Musin says as he remember the feeling of Saitama's pressure. It reminds me of someone. His veins moving and popping around his body. Musin then overthink about Tenjiro's Hanafuda earrings. Those earrings, Musin thinks. Musin can remember his past when he was at his young age. There was a demon slayer who can defeat him single-handedly. That slayer has the same Hanafuda earrings as Tenjiro. And that slayer was giving him a trauma that he can't forget from his entire life no matter how he try to forget. This demon slayer is close in killing Musin Kibitsuji, but due to Musin's splitting cell, he managed to survive. His heart pounds so fast as he is enraged. This time, Musin is doubting about Saitama as he is now wary of his pressure because it is more heavy than Yoriichi. That bald guy looks like a normal human. In fact he is not dot 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 the bald guy is a threat to me now. He thinks with his eyes jerking in nervousness and continues. I need to be wary and remember his face. I have to keep an eye on him and observe his abilities. Musin grit his teeth as he slams his fist on the wall in anger. After a sudden ruckus, Tamayo and Yushiro aided Saitama and Tanjiro so they can escape from the security force. They immediately went out in the scene while Saitama carries the infected stranger like a sandbag while Tanjiro brought the fainting injured woman. Tamayo and Yushiro went to the alleyway and stops when there are no people around. Saitama taped the squirming demon while Yushiro carries the fainting woman. So what are you gonna do to that demon? Says the curious Saitama. Tanjiro listens to their conversation as he wants to know too. Tameo sighed as she answers in calm tone. Honestly, the infected stranger would remain restrained. Until we find some solution to that problem. Tanjiro clears his throat as he barge in. So you won't kill him right? As Tanjiro stare at them with concern. Yushiro and Tameo looks at each other and later nodded as they made their decisions. Tameo speaks in a calm tone as she stare at the casual Saitama and the worried Tenjiro. We will talk about that later, so are you ready to go now to our hideout? Hearing the serious Tameo, Saitama and Tenjiro thinks to themselves, and then Tenjiro made his mind as he answers her. I'll have to go back first to retrieve Nezuko. She is waiting for me around the Yudon shop. Yushiro quivers in slightly irritated expression as he says. Why you ungrateful brats? Yushiro. Enough. Tameo gazes at him strictly. Why yes lady Tameo. Yushiro quickly responded as his eyes twitch a little. 
Yushiro's irritated expression turns into a scared kid as he don't want his lady Tameo to be angry because of him. Yushiro stare at them while making a slightly irritated face. I'm sorry for being rude. I'll just come at your destination to escort you to our home. Yushiro sighed deeply. Oh that's great to hear. Saitama smiles and gives thumbs up. Yushiro gets slightly irritated when he sees Saitama's face. Then he mutters. TCH, this ignorant bald guy. Yushiro looks away while avoiding to be noticed by Tameo. Saitama carries the taped squirming demon as he says. Then I'll deliver this guy infected stranger to your home while I also tell the Yushiro guy the way back to the Yudan shop. Sure, it would be a great help, thank you. Tameo smiles. Yushiro gets jealous and angry. He just keep his cool so his irritated expression won't be noticed by Tameo. They begin to part away as they agree with their plans. And then Tenjiro and Saitama separates for a moment. Tenjiro walks back to the Yudan shop. Tenjiro went back to get Nezuko who was sitting and waiting around the Yudan shop. The shop owner bid farewell as he waves his goodbye and says, Oi kid, come back and use that coupon if you have free time. The shop owner shouts in the distance, Of course I will, thanks again for the food. Tenjiro replied with a grateful smile. He waves his hand to the shop owner. Tenjiro walks with the smiling Nezuko at the quiet night and then meets Saitama and the irritated glaring Yushiro who was standing in the distance. Oh you came back, so how is the woman? And the infected guy. Tenjiro asks Saitama in curious tone with a hint of concern. Saitama sighs as he looks at Yushiro who is now calm but cold. Then Saitama says, Side, this guy prohibited me to peek around the house not until you come along with me and Nezuko. Oh, is that so? Tenjiro awkwardly smiles. Yushiro sighed as he looks at them and says, Alright listen the three of you. I didn't do this because I wanted to. Lady Tameo asked this so you must be thankful of her. Saitama was looking at the dark skies, thinking of some fantasies in his mind. Oi listen to me. Yushiro angrily pointed Saitama as if disciplining him how to have morals. Tenjiro in a slightly awkward face says, Oh okay then what shall we do? Yushiro stares at Tenjiro for a while before he looks at the behaving Nezuko. Yushiro closed his eyes as he says, There is one thing that bothers me the most. Huh? What is it? Says the curious Tenjiro. Yushiro stares at him coldly and strictly as he points Nezuko. That girl looks like an old hag. I can't keep my eyes staring at her like that. Tanjiro was confused what Yushiro means but when he saw the pointing finger to Nezuko, Tanjiro goes on protective mode as he defend Nezuko's beauty. You can't be serious. Look at her, I mean she is an angel. Even Mr. Saitama compliments her. You must be kidding right? She is beautiful and gorgeous. You can't be judging her like she is ugly. I mean you are joking right? No, I am not. In fact she looks like an old hag Yushiro in a strict, serious and cold expression answers Tenjiro. Tenjiro gets mad as he acts childish and always defend Nezuko as much as he can. He won't allow Yushiro to insult his young sister. Tenjiro keeps talking loud and clear. Ah, uh, I won't allow you to insult my young sister. Hey Mr. Saitama tell him the truth about Nezuko. Saitama wasn't listening as he was playing with a stray cat. Saitama was patting the head of the purring cat. Ah uh, Mr. Saitama, please help me defend Nezuko. Tenjiro in loud tone trying to have Saitama's attention. HMPH, you can't change my mind just give up. Yushiro smirks as he walks at the streets back to Tameo's home. Gia ra ra ra. Tenjiro keeps talking about Nezuko's beauty while holding her arm and dragging her. Meanwhile Saitama was left alone by them. After five minutes, Saitama realized he was left by them. Sighed, now talk about leaving a poor guy here. Saitama whines and then he sighed. He stood up and touches his pocket. He realized his pocket has a hole as if his wallet drops somewhere. Why am I so unlucky? Says the irritated Saitama. The three people walks to Tameo's home. The alleyway is dark and silent. Yushiro walks forward while behind him follows Tenjiro and Nezuko. Footstep sounds. As Tenjiro was thinking something while walking, he just realized Saitama didn't follow them. Um wait, where is Saitama? When he looks behind, Saitama was already behind him with a smiling face of sadness. His eyes has black eye bags as if he hasn't sleep for days. Sound of ee, -ee from depressed person. Tanjiro's heart skip a beat as he was surprised of Saitama's expression. He was scared a bit and then sighed as he knew it was just Saitama. Gee Jaya, what happened to you Mr. Saitama? Says the curious and worried Tanjiro. Saitama was just smiling as if he was depressed then he says. And my wallet. Ah uh, yes, Tanjiro was worried. My wallet is gone. Sniffle sniffle. Tanjiro gasped. He gets something from his pocket. Then he grab a wallet that was from Saitama. Oh I found this when you were restraining the infected guy. It drop after the police tried to kick you. Saitama's depressed expression turns into a joyful happy kid who got a candy as he sniffle and clears his throat while saying. 
Good job, kiddo. That's why I admire your honesty, says the acting cool Saitama. Someone shouting. Yushiro at the far distance shouted at them, getting their attentions. Oi I how long are you gonna make some drama there? Don't make Lady Tamea wait for your asses. Alright. Tanjiro fixes himself as he ran towards Yushiro. Then Tanjiro speaks in loud tone while running. Mr. Saitama, let's go. Oh right. Saitama dusts himself as he follows them. Fud fud. The four people reach their destination after a few miles walk, and then they stare at the big mansion. Saitama puts his right hand on his chin as he smile at the texture. Tenjiro's jaw drops a little from seeing the home of Tameo and Yushiro. Tanjiro shakes head after he almost forgot the insults of Yushiro towards his sister. Tanjiro touches Nazuko's cheek and says in a defending tone, Listen Nazuko, you are beautiful and gorgeous. Do not listen to any people who says you are not beautiful. Saitama looks at Tenjiro as he asked him, but who says she is not, says Saitama who is scratching his head. Tenjiro gasps as he looks at Saitama, then he answers the hero, sighed. Yushiro said all of that, he says Nazuko looks like an old hag. As the casual Saitama listens to the sighing Tenjiro, Saitama's expression went to a teasing one. Naihahaha <laughs> Saitama's evil thoughts. Then he whispered to Tenjiro and says, No, that guy is just making a lie. Maybe he has a crush on Nezuko. Eh? Tenjiro gasped but. Tenjiro's eyes begin to lit up as he knew what Saitama planned to do. Tenjiro snickers evilly as he looks at Yushiro who is at the entrance door. Then he whispered back to the teasing Saitama. Yes Mr. Saitama, you are right, Yushiro is just making a way to lie about insulting Nezuko. He is just jealous because he doesn't have a beautiful sister dot 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 or maybe he has a crush on her Tanjiro speaks a slightly loud teasing tone that can be heard by Yushiro. Yushiro heard them, he start to shiver in irritation. Yushiro's eyes goes wide as he was taunted to their teases, then his expression goes a hissing cat behavior as he approached Tanjiro and says, Don't you ever tease me like that. I am loyal to Lady Tameo and would never betray her forever. Yushiro then makes an irritated expression as he stare and hisses at Saitama. Saitama listens as he grins. He raises his eyebrow in doubt as he try to mock Yushiro then says, But you insult this angel Nezuko. Insulting someone ugly who is not really obvious means she is your type. Saitama grins as his eyebrow nods teasingly. Tanjiro looks away while covering his luog. MHMHM even Nezuko agrees to Saitama. Nezuko then gave Saitama a gentle pat. Yushiro quivers with his eyes and lips twitching in nervousness, irritation and embarrassment. He hated Saitama for teasing him like that as if his pride were shattered. He gulps as he thinks to himself. T this ignorant cocky bald guy. How dare he try to make me provoked? What shall I do? Dot dot dot. What should I do to have my revenge? Gah, I'm losing my mind. Yushiro holds his head as he shakes it, trying to calm his nerves. Saitama clears his throat as he says, Can we just go inside instead of wasting our time here? Gee, good point. Sighed. Yushiro pants heavily and sighed deeply in relief after the teasing has stopped. Yushiro then fixes himself. He walks as he gets the door key. Yushiro stops at the entrance door as he faces them. He clears his throat and stares at them with his strict expression. He says, Listen, this is our home. You should be respectful to Lady Tameo. Once you get inside, behave and listen to us. Heh. <laughs> so your type was Lady Tameo after all. Saitama smiles while giving a thumbs up. Tusu h h h h. This guy. Yushiro shiver in anger and embarrassment. Taunted from Saitama's little joke even it's true. Yushiro stomps the floor as he says. Okay, ahum, let's go now. Yushiro says with a pinkish cheek trying to change topics then he opens the door. The door brightens their view and they can see Tameo taking care of the injured woman. Door creaks. Welcome to our mansion. Tameo spoke in a calm tone. The interested Saitama looks around the house. Nezuko behaves at the chair while Tanjiro stares at the injured woman while he is concerned. Then he asked, Is she okay? Tanjiro looks concerned as he felt like he regret making a mistake for not saving the man before Muzan can do anything. Tameo nodded and then she says, I forgot to introduce myself. Dot dot dot. My name is Tameo, and this young boy is Yushiro. Yushiro after getting introduced he bows down to them as a greet. Tanjiro stands firm as he also introduces himself. My name is Tenjiro Kamado, my young sister is Nezuko who is currently a demon and that man accompanying me is Mr. Saitama. Tenjiro says in a loud respectable tone, I see, I'm glad to see you and your teammates going well dot dot so to put the chitchat aside, I'm glad to see you all going this far. Tameo compliments them with a smile. Saitama was just listening at them bored, he yawns while sleepy. Tenjiro looks down then he speak, how about the infected guy, is he okay? Hearing Tanjiro, Yushiro gets angry as he says, You think we're treating humans while choking back drool at the smell of blood? 
You do know we demons do not consume foods the same as humans. Tameo and Yashiro doesn't consume human flesh, instead they drink human blood from blood bags. Due to the woman's wound, the smell of blood would make them hungry and their desire on their urge to bite is high. Tameo gets slightly mad and disappointment at Yashiro's statement. She then says in a strict tone, Yashiro, I told you to be respectful to them. Why yes, I'm sorry Lady Tameo, I won't judge anymore. Yashiro apologizes in scared tone. But due to their compressed behavior, they manage to control their urge from harming other people as Tameo and Yushiro are free from Musen's control. Saitama and Tanjiro begins to discuss with their plans along with Tameo and Yushiro. At the distance that is heading towards Tameo's home, two demons named Temeri Demon Suzumaru and Aero Demon Yahaba is walking at the dark streets. Excited and itching to murder someone, the Temeri demon can't wait to test her abilities on her targets. The arrow demon bend on the ground as he investigate and locate what he found in his demon abilities. His hands with eyes is used to locate the target's traces. The excited Temeri demon looks at her partner as she asked, So did you find them? The arrow demon smirks as he answers her. Their footprints, my hands trace their footprints that would lead us to their location. Finally dot 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 once we finish our mission. Lord Musin will be proud of us. Let's do this mission and make our master proud of us, says the Temeri demon. As you say Suzumaru, let's kill them slowly and enjoy ripping them apart. The two demons grin excitedly as they continue to walk to their way as they head towards Tameo's mansion. <laughs> Meanwhile, the stern-looking Tameo is disciplining the sighing Yushiro, but deep down she also cares for him because she understands his point. Yashiro, please. Yes, Lady Tameo. Yashiro responded in a respectful manner. Tameo stands up from her chair as she walks at the other side of the room. Then she looks back to stare at Saitama and Tenjiro who was waiting for her time. This way, let's talk from this room in private. The yawning Saitama and the nervous Tenjiro nodded. They walk inside the other room and sat at the floor. Nezuko comes along as she lay down while playing with her legs. Feeling the tense of the surrounding, Tameo speaks in a calm tone with a hint of worry. Tanjiro Kamado, now you know our secret, let me tell you if you trust me. Hearing Tameo's words, Tanjiro nodded as he answers her. I will definitely trust you Lady Tameo, and also trust you Shiro. Hearing the honest tone of Tanjiro, Tameo then continues to talk about their secret. I was once a former human. I became a demon after Musen took my family and infected me with his blood. But today, I break the curse and now free from his control. But of course, as a demon I have the ability of a healer type but there are still drawbacks. Are really? Tanjiro gasped as he can't believe someone like Tameo other than Nezuko would break from Musen's control. Tameo blinked her eyes before she continues to speak in a calm tone. But that doesn't mean we can live free as a human. We are also bound by the fate of the demons which is we can't walk during daylight. And also we need to consume blood instead of human flesh. Tanjiro's sweat slowly drip over his cheek. He feels sad to them. Tenjiro keeps overthinking how long have they been living since they have turned themselves into a demon. But Tenjiro won't rudely ask for their private lives. Tameo then gazes at Yushiro who just remains silent. Tameo then looks at Tenjiro as she sighed deeply. Then she speaks to Tenjiro in an honest tone. For Yushiro's case, I managed to turn him into a demon because of his disease. He was a dying child. He requested me that he is afraid to die dot 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 so I turn him into a demon like me that is also free from Musen's control. She speak in a calm tone with a hint of guilt. Then she continues her story. In over 200 years, I was only able to transform Yushiro into a demon after all because of his wish. Tenjiro gasped about their truth, to think that they live that long and suffer as much just to consume blood. Tenjiro stare at Nezuko as he also thinks about giving Nezuko human blood. But he shakes head as he don't want it to happen because it will trigger her transformation. Tenjiro shivers as he is nervous. He has a thoughts he would like to share, but he is scared to talk. He take a deep breath, sighed and stares Tameo in a brave look. Lady Tameo, I have something in my mind. Since you are a healer type, do you also create a cure that can turn demon into humans? Duh, you brat. Who do you think you are ordering to? Yushiro gets mad as his right hand slip in hitting Tenjiro's throat. Tenjiro coughs and pants heavily, and then Tameo strictly glares at Yushiro as she says. Yushiro, a strict, stern but caring tone. Why yes, I'm sorry my hand slipped. Yushiro responded quickly in a scared submissive tone. Saitama's casual expression turned into a tease after seeing Yushiro's reaction. He then says, Hey, don't tell me you are jealous. A teasing tone of Saitama. His face slowly makes a mocking smile. Shut your mouth you boiled egg, says the taunted Yushiro. Saitama continued to snicker while Tanjiro is becoming awkward from seeing the two people having a quarrel. 
Tamayo then interrupted their chatter as she continues. To produce such a cure, we must study a lot of demon blood. In order to do that, we need many blood samples from each demons under Musen's control. Unfortunately, we can't harvest such blood as we are too vulnerable. Tanjiro looks at Tameo with concern. He thinks while looking above then he looks back as he says. I'll try to harvest many demon bloods as much as I can. Tanjiro Kamado, are you really sure as this is risky for you? Tanjiro smiles with resolve as he looks at Nezuko. He gently caresses her cheek while talking to Tameo in a gentle tone. If it means you'll be able to research all the demon's blood, then I'll do it for the sake of my young sister and to the both of you, Lady Tameo and Yushiro. Hearing the words of Tanjiro, Tameo can't help but to smile on the young demon slayer's promise. Tameo blinked her eyes, then looks down with a warm beautiful smile. She then looks at Tanjiro while saying, Thank you, Tanjiro. A smile that would make anyone blush. Tanjiro became flustered seeing the gorgeous smile of Tameo. Then Tanjiro responded with a promising words. Leave it to me. Yushiro quivers as he glares at Tanjiro because he got jealous. His hiss. Yushiro glares at Tanjiro with his angry expression. S sorry Yushiro. Tanjiro sweats while looking away nervous of Yushiro's threatening glare. Tameo chuckles seeing them exchanging reactions. Then she interrupted their chatter. Ahem, so back to the topic. Tanjiro Kamado will support me to gather the bloods of the demons. As for me I will be undergoing experiments until I can figure out the cure. Do you have any objections Yushiro? Yushiro sit up straight while shaking his head and answering her. No Lady Tameo, I fully agree with your idea. He smiled and he glares back at Tanjiro in the smiling Saitama while also hissing. But, a random ball suddenly broke their room and ricochet wall by wall. Lady Tameo get down. Yushiro protects Tameo with his body while moving away. Tanjiro also protected Nezuko with his body. The ball with a deadly weight continued to ricochet in their room in quick speed. Meanwhile Saitama was just sitting unworried. Not until the ball hit his bald head, he gets angry. Who the hell would play a ball at night? Saitama grabbed the flying ball and squashed it with his bare hands effortlessly. <laughs> Meanwhile at the backyard of Tameo's mansion, the Temeri demon laughs evilly as she throws more heavy weight balls at Tameo's mansion while shouting in sadistic tone. Ha 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 take this I hope you all will get crippled with my attacks. Ha, huh? so the five of you survive my rebounding attacks. Wonderful, says the impressed Temeri demon. At the backyard, the Temeri demon and the smiling arrow demon is seen in the distance. Tenjiro and the rest are recovering their breathes after the attack is paused. Saitama stands up with a curious expression, staring down at the demon holding a ball. He put his hand around his waist as he says, Yeah right, a Temeri ball game, what a friendly. Hey wait that ball managed to destroy partial of the house, are you really trying to kill us? The Temeri demon stands boldly, she smirks as she says in cocky mocking tone, Are you an airhead? That is why bald-headed guys are idiots and lost their hairs as if losing their intelligence. Saitama's jaw drop as he can't believe what the Temeri demon said to him. Huh? Saitama makes a dumbfounded expression. Then he smiles angrily, popping vain noises. Saitama grit his teeth with his vein bulging out while saying his inner thoughts. I'm gonna spank this cocky girl for disrespecting my head. Tanjiro moves to a safe spot, moving Nezuko away from danger while putting his guard up. He unsheathed his sword to engage battle. He walks over to assist Saitama. Tanjiro then speaks in nervous and worried tone. Mr. Saitama, are you ready to battle? HM. Saitama looks at Tanjiro's nervous expression. He put his hand on Tanjiro's shoulder and says, Kiddo, don't get nervous, I'll discipline these kids for you says the acting cool Saitama. The Temeri demon heard Saitama's confidence. She grinned widely and sadistically as she yells, You really think you can beat us without weapons? Think again. The Temeri demon throws two Temeri balls towards them. The ball floats in the air, and then the trajectory of the ball changes abnormally as it floats in confusing movement. Then it suddenly increased the speed and now rebounds on the walls again at blinding pace. Falling rubbles and rebounding ball noises. Tanjiro gripped his weapon tight, putting up a defensive stance while trying to predict the incoming attack. These Temeri balls dot 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 how can they move abnormally after the throw as if someone controls it at will. As the two ricocheting balls are rebounding, the one ball moves at blinding spot behind Tanjiro as it lunges to hit his vital parts. But, Saitama reacts catching the ball with his bare hands effortlessly. He then says in interested tone, Ho, oh, not only this ball moves at will, it's like a remote-controlled ball. Tanjiro let out a shock gasped as he smiles after Saitama saves him again. He even complimented the hero saying, Mr. Saitama, you never cease to amaze me. Thanks for saving me again. Kiddo, you should focus on battle you know Saitama says in concerned tone. Tanjiro gets embarrassed as he shake his head and went to focus on the battle again. 
He grip his weapon tight and now goes offensive stance. Yeah right. As Tameo and Yashiro were watching them, they were shocked of Saitama's calm demeanor. Yashiro thinks with his inner thoughts. T this bald guy managed to stop a dangerous ball with a hand. Not even me can stop that attack alone. Tameo smiles in relief after witnessing a man who already know the battlefield's rules. So I was right when I saw him for the first time at the Tokyo. This man is really powerful, if not, the most powerful human relying on physical strength alone. Back at the two hostile demons, the Temeri demon grit her teeth after seeing Saitama stopping her attack with just bare hands. She feels humiliated, her muscle stretches as she shouted. How did you stop my attacks with your hands alone? Are you kidding me? Not even the slayers can counter my attacks and yet here you manage to destroy it with just a hand. Hearing the tantrum of the Temeri demon, Saitama looks at her while scratching his cheek then responded in calm tone. I mean, your attacks are pretty weak that it was like a fluffy ball. After hearing Saitama's comment and even seeing Saitama's unconcerned behavior, the Temeri demon was in disbelief as if her pride was shattered. F fluffy ball you say, she says in shocking yet irritated tone. She grit her teeth, becomes enraged and taunted, her muscles stretches and bulges, she grew four more limbs, stretching and sprouting sounds of body parts. You ignorant avocado head. I'll make sure I'm gonna make your mouth shut until you learn your place. Saitama becomes irritated again after the insult. He says in annoyed tone as he crosses his arms. Yeah right, once I catch you, I'll spank your butt until you gonna submit to me. After hearing Saitama's words, the Temeri demon quivers in annoyance of Saitama's calm demeanor. Her eyes jerk in anger and irritation as she smiles angrily. Are you mocking me? I'm gonna tear that calm face of yours. I swear, I'm gonna beat you up. Taking a step forward, the angry smiling Temeri demon throws another three balls aggressively that is much more stronger than before. Tenjiro protected Nezuko with his body as the attack is becoming more dangerous than previously. Nezuko, don't move, says the nervous Tenjiro. The ball managed to went inside as it rebounds again. As Saitama was about to catch it with his hand, the three ball stops in midair and rebounds at blinding speed, ricocheting in the wall inside the room while it avoid to get to Saitama's range. All this abnormal trajectory again, says the annoyed Saitama. The ball moves more faster as it ricochet in the walls. The attack managed to collapse a few of the walls as it aggressively tries to hit Tameo, Yushiro, Tanjiro while it avoid to hit Saitama due to Saitama's awareness and reaction. Saitama then becomes serious, his footwork managed to produce blurry after images and managed to catch the balls in a blink of an eye. Got it, Saitama squashed the balls as it turned into a dust. But that was just a bait to distract Saitama. The Temeri demon prepares another shot and she lunges the two balls at Tameo. Lady Tameo, Tenjiro shouts as he try to block the attack with his sword, but the ball rebounds and manage to pass through Tenjiro's defense. Yushiro grit his teeth as he stands and blocks the attack before it hits Tameo's body. But, splatter sounds, Yushiro's head explodes with one hit from the ball. He drops down. Tameo catches his limp body before falling to the ground. Tenjiro's eyes went wide, his expression went pale and extremely shock. He stands up while shivering in fear. Yushiro, Tenjiro shouted in shock while getting terrified. The Temeri demon smirks sadistically after killing one target. Ha, one down, says the Temeri demon who is laughing evilly. Saitama after witnessing another death, becomes extremely angry now. I become careless again. Saitama mumbles in cold tone. As the battle goes on, Saitama still stand on his ground with the five powerful flying Temeri balls aiming towards them. Saitama continued to catch the ball with his bare hands while moving in blurry movements. He then squashed the balls before any of it hits them. Tanjiro looks at Tameo and his jaw drop in disbelief. Saitama was confused when he saw Tanjiro like that and he was like, What's wrong kiddo? In concerned tone. Why Yushiro? Yushiro is regenerating. Huh? Saitama then looks at Tameo and the limp Yushiro. To Saitama's surprise, he saw Yushiro slowly regenerating his head from fatal injury. Saitama was like, are these guys got the ability to regenerate from almost nothing? They are like immortals, and maybe they are. In impressed tone, flesh regenerating sounds. Lady Tameo I hate them with all my heart. They are troublemakers and will bring trouble to us. Didn't I tell you already? Yushiro in a disciplining tone to Tameo. Tameo sighed as she continued to hold Yushiro's body while still regenerating until the head is fully recovered. She smiles and says, Yushiro, please believe and have faith. Yushiro after seeing Tameo's smile surrender arguing with her. He then stand up and continue to protect her with his body while saying, I'll get my revenge once my blood demon technique is released. Just you wait you pathetic demons. Saitama smiles after hearing Yushiro's braveness. He then focus in defending them while being serious now. 
when Saitama moves a little closer to defend Tameo and Ishiro, a small rubber scabbard drops at his pants. Saitama was baffled until he realized that he also carry a pocket Nikairin blade from Tenjiro's master. He took the blade in the floor and checks on it. He unsheathed the blade and now remembers he once used it in killing the demon when he was lost in the forests. Oh, I almost forgot about this knife-looking blade. The old man told me to use it in killing demons. Saitama laughs awkwardly as he goes back in his nonchalant behavior. Tanjiro saw Saitama being calmed down. He sighs and smiles at him saying, Mr. Saitama I'm glad you are not angry anymore. Huh? Alright I almost lose my cool before. He responded with an awkward laugh. As Tenjiro almost caught off guard, he saw the aggressive Temeri ball trying to hit him in his head. Thump, bump, sound of the ball rebounding. Tanjiro moves in a swift movement as he unsheathed his sword and breathes before using his skill. Total concentration technique, water breathing. Drop ripple thrust curve. As Tenjiro thrusts the ball, the ball jerk in his blade and attempts to break free. Tanjiro gritted his teeth as he speak in his inner thoughts. Damn it, even impaling the ball still got the time to move away. I need to destroy it and shouldn't be a burden to Mr. Saitama. Sasumaru or Temeri demon laughs hysterically after seeing the struggling Tanjiro as she says. Ha 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 you are very foolish to think that kind of attack would stop the moving ball. Hearing the laugh of the Temeri demon, Tanjiro closed his eyes and breathes heavily before twisting his blade, damaging the ball in result. The Temeri ball turned to dust afterwards making the Temeri demon surprised. The Temeri demon let out a gasp in disbelief as she was like, How is that possible? The Temeri demon then looks at Yushiro and Saitama arguing like a kid. She then thought and thinks, That pale guy is also a demon. I thought this work will be easy and fun, but it needs more effort from us, and this makes me angry. The Temeri demon stretches her arms while summoning six balls in her hands before throwing it to Tameo. The Temeri demon shouts in menacing happy tone. No matter how defensive you are, as long as I see each of you dead, then it will be hilarious to see any of you crying and begging for your lives before we slaughter you all slowly. As the ball is launched towards the powerless Tameo and Yushiro, Saitama blinks in front of them blocking the attack with his body. You know what, I am really annoyed of these Temeri balls and I can even see some Kokusu arrow floating at the ball. Saitama grip his weapon and in 0.00, 5 seconds in his thoughts, he then thinks, Tanjiro has been saying some cool moves like breathing technique, maybe I should act cool too. Saitama smirks and becomes excited. Saitama bend his knees slightly while trying to pose his attacks in a slowed time. Then he does his cool move while taking a deep breath. Power breathing, first form, normal slashes. Slashing sounds, ching ching sounds lol. Saitama slashes the Temeri balls in a blink of an eye as it turn into a dust afterwards. A powerful wind generated from his slash clears the entire dust off from the house. Saitama is also careful to hold back his slashes because it will destroy the entire house from his shockwaves alone. The Temeri demon Suzumaru backs of in the distance as she is shocked and shivering from seeing the baldy did impressive swordsmanship. I didn't see his movements, is he a Hashira? He is powerful but why I feel something heavy in his aura. Tanjiro saw Saitama doing some breathing technique, his jaw drop and was in shock. He then clap his hands as he says, Mr. Saitama, I don't know why but you are really cool and never cease to amaze me for real. Tanjiro then shake his head and focus to battle, then he can sniff another scent. Two different scents of blood. Wait that's right. Where is the male demon behind the Temeri demon? Tanjiro went outside while dashing forward, trying to locate the other scent but the Temeri balls in the blind spot managed to almost caught him off guard. Damn it. I need to concentrate. Rebounding ball sounds. Tanjiro evades all incoming Temeri balls thrown at him while Saitama destroys the ball. He got hit but he ignores it and continue evading to avoid injuries. Tanjiro, locate the other demon and I'll deal with it later, I'll discipline this cocky girl first. Says the acting cool Saitama who is winking at him. Saitama also destroys the rebounding balls with a single slash of his small blade. Tanjiro nodded as he says yes Mr. Saitama, I'll locate it as soon as possible. I'll entrust you to protect Yushiro and Lady Tameo. Tanjiro dashes outside, but Nezuko follows him. Nezuko don't follow. I'm HM HM. She shakes head and refuses his warning. Side, Tanjiro whine and surrender to argue with his younger sister. Tanjiro continued to dash while he entrusts Saitama in defending Tameo and Yushiro. As he continued to locate the scent, he found the arrow demon hiding up in the tree. There you are you coward. Tanjiro leaps up and attempt to slash the demon. Yahaba or arrow demon uses invisible koksu arrow to push Tanjiro away. Don't get cocky you brat. 
You should know that I am one of the 12 Kazuki including Suzumaru Yahaba smirks. 12 Kazuki. He leaps back and observes his movements. Tenjiro then struggles to lift his sword when he noticed the arrow demon is using his hands to control Tenjiro's blade. I am not taken easily by the likes of you, but I must say you are a talented brat, but you will die anyway. The arrow demon smirks. Tanjiro grit his teeth as he dashed forward towards the smiling arrow demon but the koksu arrow which is invisible to his eyes managed to caught Tanjiro off guard. He was hit and pushed back, damaging his ribs in result. GNM. Damn it. Tanjiro coughed blood and still stand in his ground. Behind his back, a temory ball was lunged towards his face as Tanjiro got no time to react. But, Nezuko appears behind Tanjiro and kicks the ball away back to the temory demon. And Nezuko, Tanjiro coughs and goes defensive stance. The deflected ball that was sent back to Temuri Demon. Suzumaru laughs out loud and says, Oh I see dot dot you want to play with a soccer ball with me. Then she also retaliated by kicking the ball back to Nezuko. Nezuko counterattacks with a kick to deflect the attack but her right leg got incapacitated instead. Ha 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 ha, weak demon. The Temuri demon laughs her off. Nezuko grits her teeth almost destroying her bamboo muzzle. Then her right legs start to regenerate instantly as she focus on her body. Huh, how did she do that fast? The Temuri demon in her inner thoughts. Yushiro and Tameo were watching them from the safe spot, while Saitama was finding his weapon after he lost it somewhere from being careless again. The Temuri demon noticed Saitama lost his weapon so she cornered the siblings along with Yahaba the arrow demon. You know what, why don't you join with us? We will spare you four except that baldy. Yahaba said while smirking. Yeah he is right, we will spare you if you join with us, but first kneel down and lick our feet. Fufufu the Temuri demon in cocky and arrogant tone. Tanjiro sighed deeply. He then glares to the hostile demons and shouted with anger. We won't join with you. No matter how you try to convince us, we will slay all of you. Tanjiro holds Nezuko's wrist while maintaining guard and griping his weapon. Nezuko nodded as she stared at Tanjiro's jerking eyes. Nezuko then pats Tanjiro's head while saying MHMHM. A little muffling sound from his cute little sister calms him down for a bit. The Temuri demon smiles angrily as she said, Fine, then we will just enjoy you screaming in pain. Let's play until dawn and until your life gives up. The Temuri demon then prepares to throw her Temuri balls towards the siblings. She smiles and laughs evilly as she is going to lunge her attacks. But Saitama passes through for a moment. Whooshing and chopping sound from Saitama. Power breathing. Second form. Consecutive normal slashes in a lazy nonchalant tone of Saitama. A slash from Saitama generates a strong wind. Blowing the dust away from the area, Yushiro was pushed back including the other people. And once again, Tenjiro's jaw drop in surprise. Ishiro's eyes also went wide while Tameo smiles in impressed manner. The smiling carefree Saitama passes through the shocked Temuri demon Suzumaru and slashes the demon's six arms in an instant. Power breathing, second form, consecutive normal slashes, slashing sounds and sound of limb falling in the ground. Suzumaru make a dumbfounded expression as she exclaimed from Saitama's quick attack. On her thoughts I didn't notice him. Is he really a Hashira pretending to be a normal guy? No, maybe stronger than that level. The slash produce a powerful wind blowing people around a bit. Saitama landed in the ground and wipes his dust as his blank expression remains. He then look at the shocked Tanjiro while saying, Oi kiddo, are you okay? Saitama's eyebrow raises. Tanjiro was silent as he nodded slowly while extremely impressed. He then stare at his younger sister who is staring nonchalant and also copying Saitama's behavior. And Nezuko, are you trying to imitate like Mr. Saitama? He then sighed and chuckles at her. Tanjiro then stares back at Saitama, becoming more than happy as he can rely on his side. In Tanjiro's thoughts Mr. Saitama is really powerful in physical strength, but I am surprised to what I see right now. If he can wield a sword then he can defeat the Demon King single-handedly. Tanjiro smiles and says, Good job Mr. Saitama, but the work must be done if you can cut the demon's neck. The smiling Saitama nodded as he replies, Yeah I know, I did it in purpose, didn't I tell you I need to discipline this cocky girl? She need to learn her place not to disrespect some guys like me. Saitama faces in front of the shocked Temuri demon who is breathing heavily, and is nervous, backing off from Saitama while also regenerating her lost limbs. Why you? Who are you? The Temuri demon asked in angry curious tone. Saitama tilt his head while crossing his arms, his blade at the right hand as he responded. Just a hero for fun no I mean a hero for justice. Ihaba frowns as he becomes doubtful of Saitama's words. You got to be kidding me right? 
You were just a normal guy we see at night. Did you just conceal your identity so you can surprise us with your abilities? He glares at the blank Saitama as Saitama doesn't care less. He shrugs his shoulder and says in impatient tone, Can we just finish this? After I deal with you, I'll interrogate this cocky girl about your master. Then Saitama becomes serious now as he isn't going to joke anymore with them. The heavy aura feels like squashing the demons off. Yahaba backs off a little and notice Tanjiro already gone from his sight. Yahaba becomes panicked as he look around while raising his hands for battle where is the Hanafuda brat. As he look behind him, Tanjiro appears while holding his weapon, lunging it to the off-guard Yahaba arrow demon. Tanjiro noticed the arrow demon's trap below his feet as he jump upward in quick reflexes, gripping his weapon tight and successfully avoiding the trap. Before Tanjiro proceeded to slash him he was pushed back from the arrow demon but Yushiro aided him throwing some talisman from the demon's head. Yushiro shouted Tanjiro you can see some floating arrows right. That's the power of that demon. Tanjiro grins as he replies in loud tone thank you Yushiro. Yahaba fights back with his koksu arrow but all of it was evaded by Tanjiro's quick reflexes. Tanjiro can see the thread at Yahaba's neck. He uses this opportunity to focus until he can decapitate the demon. Yahaba tried to raise his hand to use his other abilities, but Tanjiro swirls around cutting off the hands of the arrow demon. Bastard, the arrow demon shouts but was beheaded by Tanjiro afterwards. Die in peace. Tanjiro's low tone as he finished the demon off. Tanjiro recover his breath before running towards Saitama. Meanwhile, warning. Extremely cringe maybe I can change the scenario if the viewers find this not funny. You are just a stupid arrogant baldy. Don't you dare look down on me as one of the twelve Kazuki. Suzumaru in loud tone while breathing heavily and angrily. Saitama cleaned his ear with his finger while staring in bored look. He says, Okay, are you done yapping? If you're done I'll start to discipline you now. Hearing Saitama's unworried tone and being confident. The Temeri demon's mouth slightly opened as she was shocked of his arrogance. Am I an aunt to you? Tell me, baldy. Suzumaru in curious yet shocked tone. Now you are just a kid who wants attention, should I say a spoiled brat, says Saitama while looking up and thinking. The Temeri demon grit her teeth as she gets extremely enraged. How dare you? Before she can shout in angry tone, Saitama speed blitz her by covering her entire body with a thick blanket only exposing her two available limbs. Then Saitama lifts her, puts her into his lap and says, Okay, now time for you to spill out all the information you know. In serious tone, Saitama locked her hold making her powerless in his grasp. He then raised his right hand while sitting with her as if a father about to spank his daughter for being a bad girl. Damn you baldy, she shouted angrily as she can't move due to being covered in the blanket. Saitama ignores her insults as the hero's expression goes dark. The hero then says serious series, power breathing tenth form, serious discipline spank. Saitama slaps her butt and it makes a loud noise. She suddenly yelp and her cheek turn red. She covered her mouth getting embarrassed. Tanjiro, Tameo, and Yushiro were dumbfounded and extremely feeling embarrassed. Yushiro was speechless as he remained staring at them with amused expression. Not bad Baldi, not bad. Yushiro smirks and let out a snorting laugh. The nervous smiling Tanjiro was trembling and extremely embarrassed of Suzumaru's side. He just hugged the nonchalant Nezuko and looks away while saying, And Nezuko, remember I won't do that to you. He then whined and feels like he is about to pass out from cringe. Saitama raises another hand for another slap and says to the helpless Suzumaru, Oi, now talk about what you know about your legions. Suzumaru remains silent while trembling and getting extremely embarrassed. Her mind start to spin as she is afraid to resist against Saitama due to his heavy pressure. Her instinct telling not to break free or else she is dead meat. She gulp and says, Hi, hi, in stuttering tone. What? He then slaps her butt for a second time. The Temeri demon now yelps with teary eyes of embarrassment. Saitama then raises another slap as he stare at her with cold expression. Tell me, are you gonna submit to us and tell us the information or you'll just die from us? In serious tone as Saitama remains detailed. And Nuo. She tried to fight back but Saitama gave her a powerful slap in the butt. Loud slap sound, the ground trembling sound. The slap produce a powerful quake and it removes the curse of the Temeri demon. Their curse for saying their master's name which is Musin will let them die in the most painful way, but the unaware Saitama removes it with just a supernatural slap. The prideful arrogant Temeri demon who is extremely loyal and scared to Musin Kibitsuji surrenders herself and giving out all information she knew. Luckily, she didn't die as she spit out on what she knew about Musin Kibitsuji. 
she cried in agony and promised herself to help Tamayo and Yushiro in exchange for their forgiveness. Tanjiro was shocked yet impressed of the Temuri demon's submission and even wonders why she didn't die from the curse just for spitting out the information. Tanjiro just smiles as he taps Saitama's shoulder and says, Mr. Saitama, a job well done. He grins cheerfully. Heh, well that is the most peaceful way to bribe some demons you know he smirks trying to be funny. Saitama then scratches his head as he looks for the second demon. So where is the arrow demon? While looking left and right, Tanjiro smiles awkwardly as he answers him I slayed him. Aw too bad, if you just spare him I can just give him a disciplining slap to Saitama's side. Tanjiro just laughs out loud at Saitama's demeanor. He then stops and says, Mr. Saitama please, join with us in the Demon Slayer core. He smiled while his eyes sparkle. Nazuko nodded while making a MHMHM sounds. The sighing yet happy Saitama nodded as he pat their heads and says, Yes, now let me be clear, the name was Musen Kibitsuji and they have some lower and upper moons right from what we got the intel from the Temuri demon. Tanjiro let out a gasp from his mouth as he becomes awkward and says, M. Mr. Saitama, I forgot to tell you but the man we meet at the Tokyo dot 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 was actually the Demon King. Huh? Come again. Saitama crosses his arm with his eyes wide open. T. The man who infected the stranger was dot 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 the Demon King he turned back and gets embarrassed for telling Saitama this late. T. Demon King. Are you joking? That Mitchell Jackson guy. Sighed. Saitama sighed deeply like a whining puppy. Tanjiro why? He grabbed Tanjiro's shoulder, shakes him and says like a whining kid complaining about the wrong food. S sorry Mr. Saitama. He smiled nervously and facepalm himself in disappointment. Awkward music plays. Kameo and Yushiro were chilling themselves and then let out a small laugh as they see their hilarious behavior. Kameo and her thoughts I hope this man and this kid will be the savior of the world. She smiles. After their small chatter, Tanjiro begin to collect Yahaba's blood remains and also collect some of Suzumaru's blood for Tameo's study. Suzumaru become weaker and lost her blood demon art. She can still grow arms but can't use abilities as it was disabled in unknown reasons. But she remains a demon. She is now a good assistant to Tameo and Yushiro. She is also a maid. Saitama, Tanjiro and Nezuko went inside the house to eat and rest later then. Chachamaru the cat is introduced. Tanjiro, this is Chachamaru. He will collect your collected blood samples and will appear when you call him says the calm Tameo. Yushiro nodded as he says. There will be no need for the three of you to come here again. Chachamaru will aid you in collecting blood samples, but we hope we can collect some of lower and upper demons if possible. Tanjiro smiles and nodded as he says I got it, then I'll rely to Chachamaru. He then pet the cat's fur. Saitama tremble as his hand is itching. He suddenly pull the cat towards his body and pet it and cuddle it good little kitty. Oi, he is not a pet. Ishiro shouted as he tried to separate the charmed Saitama and the annoyed growling Chachamaru. Tameo and Tanjiro laughs at them in friendly tone. They were amused of their behavior especially Saitama's obsession from cats. Chachamaru is a familiar from Tameo used in transportation for her medical studies and research. Chachamaru wears talisman from Yushiro so it can grant invincibility. He is considered loyal helper and one of Yushiro's important companion. Chachamaru will now aid Tanjiro and Saitama in collecting blood samples and deliver it to Tameo and Yushiro afterwards. After three hours from the battle, Suzumaru who was freed from the curse has lost her prideful behavior, bloodlust and the use of her own blood demon art. She became a good demon that is not loyal to the demon king anymore. She is now an assistant and a maid of Tameo and Yushiro. Meanwhile, the tired and injured Tanjiro was treated by Tameo. Tanjiro groans while saying ouch ouch. Tameo sighed as she says don't wiggle, your body will recover for a few days. Yushiro was muttering like this baldy is really ignorant I'm gonna chop him for making my Chachamaru angry. Nezuko was laying and rolling in the floor, while Saitama is bored and recovering his mind. Although bored, he asked some interesting book from Tameo. Saitama looks at the fuming Yushiro and asked, Oh do you know some of the arrow demon's abilities? I saw you throwing some talisman in the floor and then some in the ground before Tanjiro beheaded him. Yushiro become calm as he looks back at Saitama. Oh that. I used my blood demon art called Blindfold. It allows me and the allies to see invincible abilities dot 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 well I'm not just a support combatant. I can also fight hand to hand. He crosses arm and acts bold being proud of his abilities. Oh I see dot 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 good for you I thought you were only good at barking he grin and gives thumbs up. The barking. He fumes again and quivers in irritation. Tameo sighed and says Yushiro dot 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 it's just a joke, don't take that seriously. TCH. He looks back and crosses his arm. He then sighed and calms down. 
After one hour, Tameo walks over at Saitama and stares at him with calm and curiosity. Suzumaru was behind Tameo getting shy and avoiding contact with Saitama, while Yushiro is getting curious of what Tameo might ask Saitama. Yushiro in his mind, and no you aren't gonna ask him for a date right? Right. Saitama who was sitting and reading a book in the floor stares at the three of them. He closes the book and sit tight as he says, HM, is there anything you need from me? In curious tone, Tameo sit beside Saitama and says, Mr. Saitama, by any chance how did you become so strong? Saitama stares at her with surprised expression. He smiles and says, You want to know my secret? He smirks. Yushiro gets extremely curious and want to know Saitama's secret too. He quiver and is impatient to hear what's the secret of the hero's overwhelming power. Saitama sigh in happiness. He put his hand around his waist as he speak in proud tone I become so strong I can one punch my opponents just having a 100 sit ups, 100 push up, 10 kilometers run. But Yushiro interrupted as he says hey that is basic training and common exercise dot 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 are you sure that is where your power originated? Saitama sighed deeply and nodded yes I become bald after that. He then whined. Tameo and Yushiro looks at each other and says I see that explains why you don't grow hair. Oi that's rude. Saitama gets slightly mad and looks away getting embarrassed of their comment. Saitama noticed the shy Suzumaru behind Tameo. He gestures her to come forward. H huh? She exclaimed and slowly walk over Saitama. When she walked towards Saitama with a shy behavior, she suddenly remembered yesterday about what Saitama did to her. Oi are you listening? Says the blank Saitama. She suddenly get flustered seeing him very close and tries to maintain her composure in approaching the hero. She was spaced out for a bit until she shake her head and breath for a moment. Relax. In her thoughts as her heart pounds fast. She then becomes calm and acts like she is okay. But she is shivering when she is near Saitama. S so what do you want from me? Says the shy Suzumaru. Saitama smiles at her change of behavior as he pat her head and says. Wow I don't know you just changed completely just for one night. How about we talk about your problems with me? He grinned being reassuring friend to her. Her eyes and lips jerk in embarrassment as her head produce a steam. She run away and says, I, I'm gonna buy something from the store. Right? Lady Tameo asked me to buy some pot and medical equipments. So bye bye. In loud shaky tone as she avoids Saitama. Huh? Why is her face flushing red? Did I do something to her? He was clueless why Suzumaru was acting like that. He just shrug and forget about it. While looking back, he saw Tameo and Yushiro arguing something in their minds. Lady Tameo. You aren't gonna ask more about him right? In serious tone. Huh? What do you mean Yushiro? Tameo was confused of Yushiro's puzzling expression. Yushiro shakes his head as he grab her shoulder and says in strict tone do you like that baldy right? His eyes goes watery. Nezuko who was watching them walks over at the complaining Yushiro and suddenly pat his head. Oi. He suddenly accept her pat and sighed before calming down. Tameo smiles at Nezuko as she says Nezuko dear, thank you for understanding him. Nezuko makes a MHMHM sounds before she went to Tameo and gave her a tight hug. Tameo let out a gasp as she chuckles at Nezuko's loving behavior. She also hugged Nezuko back. Yushiro gets jealous and gets mad at Nezuko. Damn, it should be me not her. In his thoughts, Yushiro sighed as he leaves them alone and walks over to Tenjiro. As Tenjiro who was sitting at the corner while busy cleaning his sword, he saw the whining Yushiro. He stands up and says, Yushiro, are you okay? In concerned tone. Yushiro sighed as he tapped Tenjiro's shoulder and says, Okay I must admit your sister is cute and I lied about saying she was an old hack, but don't get the wrong idea here. I like Lady Tameo the most, so I won't let any of you especially that baldy to give her over my dead body. In brave and proud tone, Tenjiro smiles while responding in friendly tone I'm glad you see my younger sister that way. I am relieved that you admitted she is beautiful and gorgeous dot 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 don't worry about it. Mr. Saitama is sure to understand you and will never steal anything precious to you. Yushiro smirks as he crosses his arm HMPH. Be sure to tell that Baldi never to steal her away from me. He then sighs as he looks away embarrassed by the way thank you for helping us. I'll promise to also help you in your journey whenever you needed us dot 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 don't hesitate to come to us anytime. In shy tone, Tanjiro chuckled at him as he grins in cheerful manner. He then says you're welcome. We are glad to help you and Lady Tameo. We also promise to bring some blood samples so we can create a cure against Musin, and hoping we can defeat him in the future. Yushiro looks away as he stared at the window while smiling. You are right, this time I feel like you and that baldy are the only hope of this world. I believe that the two of you will achieve in annihilating the Demon King. He then walks back to Tenjiro and put his hand around Tenjiro's shoulder. Tenjiro, promise me, do not ever die young. 
please. If you die I'll hunt you from your afterlife his eyes jerk as he is also worried of Tenjiro's next journey. Tenjiro smiles at him as he says I will do my best. I will not die as long Mr. Saitama is at my side dot 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 rest assured we will defeat the demon king. In friendly tone as he grins. Yushiro sighed. He smiles and becomes relieved. Right now he trusts Tenjiro and Saitama in their journey to defeat the demon king. However, that only depends what fate will wait for them. And after their small talk, they rest at the basement until morning without disturbance. Uh. After morning, before Saitama and Tanjiro's departure, Tameo, Yushiro and Suzumaru while inside the house and avoiding the daylight are waving their goodbyes at them. Chachamaru is ready to go now, but he will be waiting patiently and avoid during daylight says Yushiro. Yeah I'll be relying to Chachamaru. Tanjiro pet the cat's head while smiling. Saitama trembles again as he says can I touch this cute little... No, Yushiro block his way so Saitama can't touch Chachamaru. Saitama surrenders arguing with Yushiro and says by the way, we will be leaving now, so I hope the three of you will be living well. Thanks for the concern Mr. Saitama, I also hope that the three of you will be safe in your journey, says the smiling Tameo. Saitama smiles back and waves his goodbye before going out with Tenjiro. Nezuko is already inside the box while getting carried by Tenjiro. Bye Lady Tameo, Yushiro. Bye Tenjiro. Yushiro answers back while smiling. The duo leaves at daylight early in the morning. Saitama and Tenjiro walks around the farmland near the village. Tenjiro's Kasugai crow flew above as it shouted. South Southeast, that is your next destination. Tenjiro makes a tired look as he says I heard you. Can you just quiet down and let me relax for a bit? Saitama sneaks behind the crow while trying to catch it. Kaa, the crow managed to evade Saitama and laughs Saitama off. Ahaha try harder human says the Kasugai crow. Darn it. Saitama gets annoyed and surrender catching the crow. But the duo were startled when someone shouted. Please marry me. A noise in front of them. The crow gets frightened as it rests around Tenjiro's shoulder. A small brown bird called Sparrow suddenly asked help from Tenjiro to break off the yellow slayer disturbing the village girl. Tenjiro let the sparrow rests around his palm as the sparrow produce a cute noise. Chachachu. A noise from sparrow that even Tenjiro can understand what's the problem. Tanjiro looks at Saitama as he says Mr. Saitama, I think we need to help them. Saitama was baffled when he saw a kid wearing a yellow tattered kimono who is clinging to a disgusted girl. Accept my marriage. You are the only one who saved my dying life Yuhuhu from the yellow slayer. This yellow slayer was none other than Zenitsu Agatsuma from the final selection. Saitama sighed in annoyance as he stepped first and says, Allow me to discipline this kid on how to act matured in front of the young girl Saitama while acting cool and approaching the sobbing Zenitsu. Please marry me, says Zenitsu who keeps clinging to a disgusted village girl. Tenjiro and Saitama saw the naughty Zenitsu clinging to the annoyed girl. As the sparrow keeps asking help from Tanjiro, Saitama didn't hesitate to step forward to stop the commotion. The awkward moment when Saitama realized that this naughty slayer was the one sobbing in the final selections. He just sighed as he continued to walk towards them to break Zenitsu off from the village girl. Meanwhile Zenitsu, why are you so stubborn? I said I don't want to marry you, says the village girl who tried to push the clinging Zenitsu that keep latching on her waist. Zenitsu sobs like a pathetic boy as he keeps telling her like why are you refusing me? You saved me when I was laying at the ground right. She become mad at Zenitsu's ridiculous conclusion. Then she gets angry as she answers him like Nuo. I was just worried of you because I saw you sleeping in the ground and thought you are sick. With all your energy, you must be fine right now. In annoyed tone, Zenitsu smiles awkwardly while sniffling as he says really. You are worried of me. Then marry me. Then he tightened his hug around her waist as the village girl becomes more irritated and annoyed of Zenitsu's behavior. Oi. Saitama grabs the back of Zenitsu's Hayori and lift him up like holding the nape of the cat. Who are you? Don't disturb our loving time, says the sobbing Zenitsu who is annoyed of mad-looking Saitama. Saitama makes a stern intimidating look at Zenitsu, making Zenitsu shut his mouth for a while. Saitama says you should not do some kind of behavior like that especially when a girl refuses your clingy behavior. Do you understand? In disciplining tone, the paused Zenitsu stares at stern Saitama for a minute. Suddenly he burst out whining but why? She is an angel who saves me wa. He keeps sobbing like a child. Saitama just let out a deep sigh of Zenitsu's childish annoyance and decide to hold him off. Meanwhile, Tenjiro walks to the village girl and is apologizing to her as he says I'm sorry for the rudeness of our fellow comrade. I hope you will forgive his behavior. He then bow in apologizing manner. The village girl smiles and bows back in grateful manner as she says no no, it's alright, thanks for helping me pulling him away. 
Tenjiro smiles and nodded as he says we will give him a disciplining lecture. Please rest assured this kind of treatment will never happen again. Hearing Tenjiro, Zenitsu suddenly shouts like ha. Huh. But but this beautiful girl saves me and so she likes me, that's why I want her to accept the marriage. Loud slap sound from Zenitsu's cheek. The village girl get taunted as she slaps Zenitsu's cheek that his cheek turn red with hand mark. Ouch dot 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 that hurts lol. Saitama looks away muffling his laugh. The nervous Tenjiro hold her off so she won't harm Zenitsu again while saying please please relax. I'll discipline him later. Kaya, you didn't like me. Ask the sobbing and surprised Zenitsu who is staring at the irritated village girl. Why are you so stupid to think like that? I should have known that you would act like that from the very start. She then walk off angrily leaving the three alone. Tenjiro sighed deeply in relief thank goodness it's all good. Tenjiro then stares at the whining Zenitsu and says yeah right you deserve that slap for acting like that. The whining Zenitsu looks at them as he says but but. Saitama says no buts, you deserve that. I was about to give you a disciplining spank he then looks at Zenitsu with disappointed look as he crosses his arms. The whining Zenitsu stares at the disappointed Saitama, then he suddenly sob again while acting childish saying, why are you staring at me like I am a creature or something? In complaining tone, Saitama then says in disciplining tone while teaching Zenitsu how to act manly, because you are not exactly a gentleman. You should act as one to the young girls and not just immediately just latch yourself towards their body without their consent. Saitama points him with his finger as if teaching Zenitsu to act more mature next time. Zenitsu gets more annoyed and even pointing Tenjiro with his finger. It's all your fault that I missed out on marriage. If you and that baldy were not here, I would have succeed convincing her, says the complaining Zenitsu. Huh? Tenjiro becomes puzzled at Zenitsu's accusation. He sighed and stared at the blank Saitama. Tenjiro crosses his arm and says, Mr. Saitama should we let him come along? I think we need to help him in hesitating tone. Saitama shrug his shoulder as he answers Tenjiro yeah, maybe he is lost, let's help him as much as we can. Tenjiro smiles after hearing Saitama's answer. He then looks back at the whining Zenitsu and says, My name is Tenjiro Kamado, this is Mr. Saitama. Nice to meet you. Tenjiro acting cool and proud while staring to Zenitsu. Are you gonna help me? I am Zenitsu Agatsuma and got lost here all day. Zenitsu sniffles. Is that right? Fine. Tenjiro acting cool as he nodded at Zenitsu's response. Tenjiro offer a hand so Zenitsu will stand up. Zenitsu sighed deeply as he grabbed Tenjiro's hand and stood up while saying tea thank you. Saitama smiles seeing Zenitsu calm down and he says good for you that you learned your lesson. Now let's continue walking to our destination. The whining Zenitsu and calm Tenjiro nodded as they continue to travel. After the three of them travel together, Zenitsu's stomach growls loudly. Huh? Are you hungry? Have you eat today? Asked the worried Tenjiro. Zenitsu with watery eyes continue to act pathetic as he says nope. I got no food since past days. I was a nobody that I only sleep outside and avoid demon confrontation. Saitama overhears their conversation as he pats Zenitsu's head saying that explains a lot why you suddenly act like being clingy to the young girl he suddenly smiles. Zenitsu with teary eyes gets annoyed as he answers the baldy new. As I said, stomach rumbling continues. Tenjiro sighed as he gets something behind from his kimono. He took one rice ball and offered it to the hungry Zenitsu. Here, take this. Tenjiro in assuring tone. Zenitsu hesitated as he says are you sure? Tenjiro nodded while smiling warmly yeah, you are hungry, you should prioritize your health more than anything. Zenitsu smiles as he stops sniffling. He take the rice ball from Tenjiro and begin to take a bite. Suddenly he look back at Tenjiro while saying in worried tone, H how about you? Aren't you hungry? Have you also eat today? In concerned tone, Tenjiro looks at the worried Zenitsu while smiling as he says, I got only one rice ball, so feel free to eat it yourself. Saitama's stomach rumble noises. Tenjiro's eyes goes wide as he look at Saitama covering his stomach. M Mr. Saitama, are you also hungry? In curious tone, T Tenjiro, I'm sorry dot dot the meal at the morning was not enough in embarrassed tone. The surprised Zenitsu saw Saitama's nervous shy expression as he laughs in friendly tone and says, Come on let's just share this rice ball Zenitsu start to divide the rice ball into three, and gave each to the hungry Saitama and Tanjiro. Saitama was grateful of Zenitsu's behavior as he smiles and takes some of rice ball. He says, Thanks kiddo, I'm glad you also share food Saitama in happy tone as he munched the rice ball. Tanjiro chuckles as he also says Mr. Saitama is right, we didn't expect you to act kind. Zenitsu gets embarrassed as he says oh of course I am not just simple minded kid who can't understand someone's feeling. Their chatter were interrupted when the Kasugai crow flew above and shouted. Saitama, T-A-N-J-I-R-O, Z-N-I-T-S-U, run, to the southeast. 
The alarm Zenitsu and Tanjiro quickly dashes forward to the destination. But Saitama suddenly sprinted so fast that he left Zenitsu and Tanjiro alone. Oi, Mr. Saitama wait for us. Tanjiro shouted while trying to get Saitama's attention. Zenitsu gets surprised and impressed as he says. T that guy just sprinted faster than a cheetah. Saitama, Tanjiro and Zenitsu is heading towards their destination. But what place? Are they going to slay some demons? Rescue someone? Or investigate? Maybe all of it.